Thousands of South Africans are falling victim daily to car remote signal jamming, a crime that sees criminals gain access to vehicles by preventing owners from locking them. Most prevalent in shopping mall parking lots, victims walk away from their cars thinking they are locked, only to return to find valuables like laptops and cash removed by criminals. There was an estimated 145,000 incidents of car remote jamming in the past year. All criminals need is a gate or garage remote with a sufficiently powerful transmitter that operates on the same frequency as a car remote. A gate remote that puts out a powerful signal on the same frequency as your car remote can easily drown out the message to lock or unlock the doors. Colonel Sali of the Sydney SAPS showed us how it works. Uh, the common occurrence is that people get out of their car. Um, so the car would be unlocked. Right, so the car's okay. unlocked now, right? Just come to your parking. You get out your car. But in essence, you've got somebody standing at a distance, pressing a gate remote. You think you're locking your car and you walk away. But it's actually been jammed now. Nah, okay, so I'm going to try and lock the car, right? lock it. You won't be able to lock. Because this frequency is jamming the transmission. But you'll notice as soon as I release this, you'll be able to lock the car. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So what, what is this most common on which cars? Most common cars, you'll find Toyota, Mercedes, uh, Audi, Jeep, and uh, Hyundai as well. Yeah. And what cars don't get uh, remote jam? Some of the cars, uh, like Ford, uh, VW. Um, Any particular reason for, for, for that? I think it's just the, the, the security provided by the vehicle manufacturers. So you're yeah. using basically a run-of-the-mill gate remote to jam someone's signal. I mean, so you're trying to tell me that a criminal can go into a security store, buy a normal gate remote, doesn't have to do anything fancy to it, and it just works? That's correct. So what do people need to look out for? What do they need to do when it comes to this? To physically check that their car is locked. Um, if you're unsure of the make and model and whether your car is um, able to be jammed, we'd suggest that you physically check and do the demonstration yourself. How common is this at the moment? Very common, very common. We're having incidences almost every day. Uh, people, drivers are adamant that they've locked their car but um, unfortunately they were jammed. The next time you park your car, take that moment to double check to make sure you haven't been remote jammed. Okay, this is the Nojack Morgard jammer detector. You see far there in the distance, there's the jammer. We're going to do the jamming. It's quite a distance away. You're from the Gulf. Okay, he's going to jam the vehicle. And this is the detector. Right, so we see what's happening. Then a notification will be received via SMS to show us what's happening. There it comes in, shows you notification, jamming detected, and uh, we can respond to the jamming. And again, we look back and look at the distance distance is quite far he's looking walking quite far back now we're right in the back that's quite a distance that is going back now okay we'll see how far that is okay okay it's still going at the distance it's quite a distance how far we're receiving the message or how far we're receiving the signal so for protection we understand how far this is going to happen. We can take all the information that you have. You can see how far this works. 